There you go. Hey everyone, good afternoon, and uh, welcome to another Rec Tech Live here on a Thursday afternoon. It's raining here in Connecticut, and hopefully it's sunny there where uh, Ryan is in uh, South Carolina. So today we're going to talk about uh, employee referrals and see a demo of Employ Us, a cool uh, employee referral software platform, and get uh, Ryan's take on uh, some best practices and uh, generating more employee referrals overall. Uh, before we get started, just a few show notes uh, to uh, throw at you. So upcoming shows, we've got uh, next week, we've got to work here. Uh, coming on again to talk about their geofencing ad platform. If you don't know what that is, it's essentially a way to um, pinpoint uh, advertising on the social mobile screens that uh, candidates use the most, uh, their mobile phone, essentially. And you can kind of target that ad into a very specific location. You can draw a fence around a building, uh, an area. Um, and uh, target ads to them. And uh, we're going to get a, a sense of what that looks like, how it works. And uh, it's a really cool, uh, you know, next generation, I think, uh, advertising uh, platform for employers to, uh, to find more candidates as well. So that's uh, June 20th at uh, 1 o'clock again at rectechlive.com. Uh, we had a, a show with Alio scheduled for the week after that, but that's got pushed back to July 9th because of a scheduling conflict. So that's going to happen on um, July 9th. It's a Tuesday at 1 o'clock uh, with Alio. I think we're going to have Bennett Sung uh, come on and talk about uh, fifteen uh, what they've learned from 15 million candidate conversations uh, using their chatbot software. So he's going to throw out some stats at you around what they've learned on, on these things and how, um, how that makes recruiting more efficient overall. So I'm looking forward to that. should be a really good, uh, really good show. Um, you know, diving into those numbers of what chatbots can do and that automation is uh, is pretty interesting stuff to me overall. And then on July 11th, the following next Thursday, um, one o'clock, we're going to talk to Zoho, and uh, it's a recruiting app, applicant tracking system. Uh, the company is based in India, but they're actually opening up a uh, pretty big uh, headquarters in Austin, Texas. Uh, I think this year, and so we're going to have one of their product people on talking about the Zoho applicant tracking system get a demo uh of that and uh get you some learning around uh what zoho can do so it's coming up on july 11th again rectechlive.com sign up again all the shows are available on demand so if you can't make it live uh, you can go back anytime at the very same link and uh watch the show again so we're also going to push out to uh, facebook and youtube as well i think we're live on facebook uh live right now um uh, Yep, there we are. So if you are on Facebook, thanks for joining and uh, give us a quick shout out there. Throw a couple likes or hearts and uh, help us get some love. All right. Um, quick shout out to let's see who's here. We've got a few people on the call so far. I think people are trickling in. Uh, Rodney's here. Hey, Rodney, uh, Force Nada and uh, Ryder Adams. How's it going, everyone? Glad you could join us. And uh, if you are if you have any questions as we go along, just put them in the chat there and I'll have Ryan. Uh, answer those for you. So again, joining me today is uh, Ryan O'Donnell. He is the uh, CEO and co-founder of Employ Us, a company based down in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, we're going to talk today about uh, employer referrals. So uh, Ryan, first of all, welcome and uh, thanks for coming on to RecTech. Yeah. Thanks for having me on, Chris. Pleasure to be here and uh, looking forward to it. Yeah. So what's new, what's new in your world? What's, what's happening with employer referrals these days? You know, uh, not a whole lot has changed. Surprisingly, you know, people still, I would say, can all agree with the statement, employee referrals are your best source of hire. Um, so we just keep on preaching that like the gospel, uh, letting everyone know that employee referrals are great. It's tried, true, and those aren't changing anytime soon. So we're fortunate to be in that space and helping a lot of companies make that their number one source of hire. Nice. I'm, I'm reminded by a quote from uh, Tim Sackett's book, um, he was talking about, uh, I think he had a story in there. He was talking to some employer and uh, he's like, you know, so what's your best source of hire? She said, employee referrals. Mm -hmm. And he said, okay, well, what are you doing to, uh, you know, what kind of investment are you putting around that? And she was like, well, nothing really. Yeah, was, um, <laughs> but um, so I thought that was interesting. And uh, it seems like, you know, it, most companies have referrals and they have for programs, but I think a lot of them don't do it well. So, Talk to me about what you've learned over the years around best practices around this stuff from your clients and, you know, just being in this particular sector of HR, um, what stands out to you? Yeah, well, you know, 
we uh, founded the company back in 2015 before uh, we started Employ Us. Uh, I worked on the agency side, I was just doing whatever I could to fill my own recs. And, uh, you know, long story made short, I spoke with some of the best recruiters I could get to spend five minutes with me, giving me their two cents uh, on everything they had learned. And no matter who I talked to, everyone said referrals were great. But when I said, great, well, how do you get more referrals? How do you run a program? Uh, what are some benchmarks? How can we kind of enhance that? I got a lot of blank stares and a lot of question marks. Um, so, you know, fast forward today, we've run over 100 employee referral programs. Um, some clients, you know, small, under 100 employees, some, you know, over 100,000. And, uh, you know, I'd say employee referrals, they all kind of relate to the main, uh, main topics. Um, you know, always going to get hired faster. They're always going to get uh, to usually uh, ramp up a lot quicker as well. And they usually stay employed about twice as long. So the way that we look at it is, uh, employee referrals kind of across the board, whether you're doing high volume hourly recruiting or, you know, you're trying to build out a, a seasoned bench of, you know, software developers, they'll usually get hired twice as fast, stay employed twice as long, um, and usually cost less than most other sources of talent. And unfortunately, we found a few areas where employers are kind of missing the mark. And fortunately, it's pretty easy to fix. Uh, they're little things, you know, make sure that the candidates don't go into the black hole. You know, if you've got a referral, make sure you treat them with some degree of white glove service. Um, employees often feel like their referrals go into a black hole and they don't even hear anything about it. So then that discourages them from referring again. So really, I just say to build a great referral program, it's all about just being proactive. It's communicating it consistently. Don't do it once and then don't talk about it for a year. You know, keep it consistent. Promote it. Let employees know when you get a referral when their referrals get hired. And, uh, you know, of course, if uh, employees do a referral bonus, make sure they get that bonus on time because don't mess with people's money. Yeah. Um, what, what's some of the range of bonuses you've seen? Do they, does your platform uh, allow them to uh, put you know numbers in there like that or is it is that separate? Yeah, so we support both monetary and non-monetary rewards. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some companies, they'll do raffles, gamification, uh, we used to have this really fancy points thing. We kind of went away with that because it was a little complicated. But uh, we have some companies that will offer you know, a trip to Vegas uh, to the most active uh, person in the referral program. But as far as like dollars, we have some customers that don't offer any rewards and they see phenomenal results. It's kind of their company, their culture, and how it's set up. Um, but I would say the majority of the referral bonuses that are posted kind of fall between $500 and $2,500 or, you know, a full-time salaried role. And then if you're looking at hourly recruiting, that could be anywhere between $25 to like $150. Yep. Okay. Is there a sweet spot, do you think, in, in number-wise as far as payouts? You know, we ran an analysis mm -hmm. of all referrals that happened uh, in our first year of operation. And we found that once you get over like $2,500 in referrals, you actually have no impact on the volume of referrals being generated. Um, so, you know, I've, I, we have many customers that post well over that amount uh, that, you know, they honestly are probably spending a little bit too much money. Um, <laughs> okay. It's just how much you promote the program, how easy it is to refer. Yep. What are some other common mistakes you see employers make with their programs? Yeah, I think, you know, one thing is it's incredibly difficult to refer sometimes. Um, you know, I was in uh, the office with, uh, you know, a head of HR technology for a, you know, pretty large company, 50,000 employees. And um, I won't name names, but, you know, she didn't even know how to submit a referral. Um, and, you know, we just sat down and said, hey, let's go do that. You know, before we do anything else, let's just yep. see what what's that experience like? And it took about 40 minutes. Um, so you think about all your employees out there that you want to get referrals from. And the only way to make sure that you're tracking referrals, um, you know, you're compliant with your referrals and you can make sure people get paid is a process that takes 40 minutes. I mean, you know, if I was working somewhere, I would not spend 40 minutes trying to fill out this form. I'd eventually just say, screw it, go to the career page, do something. And uh, a lot of times that creates a lot of problems with managing the program just because it's not easy for the employees. Yeah, interesting. All right. Um, 
uh, anything else you want to mention about the, um, you know, just the overall uh, trends in the industry overall? Uh, um, you know, what are clients uh, saying to you uh, these days about um, about their programs? Are they definitely uh, is it increasing their uh, their source of hire? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, a lot of our clients they, they kind of group into two different buckets. Either they're doing great as far as a percent of hire. The referrals are kind of consistently number one or two. Uh, and that could be driving anywhere between like 20 to 30 percent of their hires. And, you know, they oftentimes do want to increase that. You know, there's usually kind of a threshold. They don't want to go above 50 just for concerns, uh, you know, around some, some other aspects of it. But they want to increase referrals. But their main thing is providing a better experience. And I think employers, you know, there's been obviously the shift to focus more on the candidate experience. And I think in the work that we do, it's much more focused on what's the employee experience like um, for companies that already have a, you know, a decent referral program in terms of the percent of hires from referrals. Um, and then our other clients, you know, they're the ones who maybe mm -hmm. had a program for several years or haven't done anything to do it. And, you know, thus their referral rates are, you know, sub 10%. And, uh, you know, those clients, it's all about just getting the program started, getting them to a point where they're building that referral culture. They're getting to, you know, from 10 to 20, from 20 to 30 percent of all their hires from referrals. Yeah. When you get a new client, Ryan, and they've never used a uh, employer software tool before, what, what do they typically look like? What do they, what do they have? What, what were they doing before that point in terms yeah. of uh, referrals? Was it just a paper process? Was it just like, hey, the, uh, the person put their name on the, uh, the ATS uh, um, uh, apply form there or? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's amazing. We have a step in our onboarding process where we ask uh, each of our new clients um, who has the current Excel file or Google sheet that tracks all the referrals today. <laughs> and, uh, you know, in some companies, a few different people have a few different files and it's all kind of tracked haphazardly. Um, so, yeah, you know, very rarely I was uh, just at the ISIMS Partner Summit speaking with uh, you know, some other uh, uh, tools in the employee referral space. And, you know, they shared the same thing. You know, very rarely are, you know, customers switching from one vendor to another. A lot of times they're going from, you know, some limited functionality in their applicant tracking system that's being supported with email and Excel. And uh, they port that over to employ us and they save, uh, you know, a heck of a lot of time without having to go back and forth manually updating those forms. Yeah, interesting. Is it, uh, is it how quick can they get uh, on board with a platform like yours? Yeah. So um, each customer that we, uh, you know, kind of go live with goes live, uh, you know, in usually one week from start to finish um, two meetings. We try to keep it as uh, short and sweet as possible. Uh, one of our missions is just to build HR software that doesn't suck. And uh, you know, it's amazing to me how some of these implementations can mm -hmm. take three or four months. Uh, most of our clients go live in a week and, you know, obviously, some of our larger uh, enterprise customers, you know, they take anywhere between two to four weeks to go live. Nice. All right. Quick shout out to uh, Brian and Patrick who just joined us live. Hey guys, how's it going? All right, Ryan. Let's uh, let, well, let's dive into this thing. Let's give a uh, audience here a, a little demo and uh, see what's behind the curtain at Employ Us. Sounds great. So, do a quick intro here into Employ Us. So, like I said. We're all about building the best uh, experience for employee referrals. Uh, we've been around since 2015, worked with a little over 100 customers. You know, proud to work with some of the coolest uh, and most respected employers around. Uh, some of them are here, and uh, you know, we found a, a really great sweet spot. Whether you're doing a lot of high volume hiring, you know, like a, a Chick Fil A, or you're trying to you know fill a lot more you know specialized you know senior salary professionals as well. You know, referrals should always be the first step in your recruiting strategy. Um, so that's a little bit about us. Yeah. Um, hey, a uh, quick question on uh, on those clients okay. first. Um, like Chick-fil-A, like what percentage of, I don't know if you know this or not, but what percentage of their hires are from referrals? Just curious. Yeah, so uh, we don't have a kind of a global stat across all locations, but um, you, know, you take a look at any one, um, that could range from 20% to 60, just depends on the location. Um, you know, they're all individually owned and operated. Yep. So some stores uh, are more aggressive than others. Um, and, you know, some offer rewards, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah, they're, they're a great one. Um, fun fact about them, when we first launched them, uh, over 90% of the employees we invited used the tool within the first 24 hours. 
um, you know, wow. used our app and, uh, you know, referred some friends. So yeah. big fans of Chick-fil-A. Yeah. As an example, what do they pay uh, for their um, uh, referrals? Mostly it's between like 50 and 50. Uh, it just depends on the store. Uh, you know, it, they're, they're all hourly positions. So yeah, it's uh, kind of the, the sweet spot for them. All right. Yeah, great question. The, um, so really all of employ us and, and kind of how we think about employee referrals is it's got to be really easy. Um, so, you know, we've seen a, a couple of different tools been created over the years for employee referrals. And the way that we like to look at it is to make it as uh, easy as possible for employees to refer. So our product is called Refer IQ, and we really position it like a recruiting assistant for your team. Um, this is what it looks like for Chick-fil-A. But it's a branded chatbot that runs your referral program for you. Um, and you know how it works is pretty simple. Uh, we give customers one link for people to uh, invite their employees. Uh, if they want to invite uh, external uh, networks as well, like maybe their alumni groups or contractors or their customers, uh, they mm -hmm. can do that as well. And we try to make it as easy as possible for them to invite their network. So we've got some tools to you know, automatically create flyers, uh, run email campaigns, uh, text campaigns, um, so that customers, all they have to do is upload a list to enroll people into their referral program. And then our app automatically runs monthly campaigns, weekly campaigns, however you want to have them set up um, via email and text to promote your program. Um, so we've got a set of campaigns and a lot of templates that we've built out uh, over the past few years to make sure you get a lot of adoption in the first few weeks right after you launch the program, but also that that adoption doesn't drop off a month or two down the line. Um, so we've got some built-in campaigns to help promote the program. Uh, and then we try to make the process as easy as possible. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over just to show everyone what it looks like live here. Okay. So bear with me as I switch here. It, are you finding uh, texting is becoming much more uh, preferred channel in, in the platform? Yeah, huge. You know, we rolled out texting um, about two years ago, and it's now, I would say, 60 to 70 percent of all the referrals that are being sent through the product are now through text. Um, so big fan of the office here. So, you know, I just click here, refer a friend. And um, actually, before I do that, let me just show you, you know, a lot of times employees have no idea how the program is actually run. So, you know, a lot of times HR departments will write a 10 page document governing the referral program. Yeah. We like to think of it as pretty simple. You can answer these questions. What bonuses are we offering? Who's eligible? What bonuses are paid out? And how are they paid out? So we try to make it as easy as possible for employees to know how the program works. And if they got a question, they can ask that. Um, so let me go ahead and try referring someone here. And I'm just going to refer myself here. The way that we like to look at it, through this experience, we're just showing how you could refer to a type of job. We have some customers where they're using this as a pipelining tool for, you know, whether it be their software engineering teams, you know, at Chick-fil-A, front of the house, back of the house. Um, customers can also pull in specific jobs. So through this, they could also say, what type of job is someone interested in? So I'll just say here that Ryan's interested in an internship. And then we added this you know, personalized note here. Um, we found that a lot of our customers um, you know, didn't have a lot of context on the referrals. They just got like a resume forwarded to them or the candidate said that someone referred them. So here, you know, I'll just say he's great, but we've got some of our users will type full on paragraphs there or seeing their friends saying why they should join the company. And it's really great to see that. Uh, so right after that, then we'll collect their uh, employees information. Who's doing the referring. Let's so go in here. So I'm Matt Cotter. We'll collect uh, that employees information. So there's no signups, um, there's you know no separate pages for employees to register, or remember the password, try to keep it as simple as possible for them. All right, that's good. Then we give the employee two different choices. They can either refer via email or via text message. And like I said, about 70% of all of our referrals come through text today. So I'm gonna punch that in. 
And then we'll send a text message to the referral asking them to apply. So that's the whole process for an employee. Try to keep it short and sweet. When you're not explaining it, it usually takes about 45 seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely uh, dead simple, easy. Uh, and then uh, once you uh, send a referral, a text message will go out. So, so hey, Ryan, Dunder Mifflin's mm -hmm. hiring. Matt thought you'd be a great fit. So some of our customers, they'll redirect all their referrals to their career page, but we've actually found this is a great way to provide a little bit more white glove for your referrals. So rather than just dumping them on a site to go apply, we want to confirm that, number one, they're interested, and we want to make sure that we've got the right types of jobs for them. So maybe I was referred for an internship, but I thought I was actually a better fit for a customer service job. So candidates can opt in the ones they're most interested in. And then we're gonna go ahead and confirm their email uh, and their phone number. So you can see like, oh, that's not my phone number. So I can go in, I can change that. So that's up to date. The optional, some customers wanna have the person upload a resume in advance or paste their LinkedIn, or well, they can just skip that. And they can ask a question if they're interested or just skip that. And then we're going to send them to the careers page. And if they get referred to a specific job, we'll refer them to that specific job. And uh, thanks to our friends at Smart Recruiters, who just so happen to have a Dunder Mifflin career page. <laughs> um, so you know, from there, you can then click in and apply for that job. Yeah. Uh, so we try to keep it as simple as possible. We don't want to change people's uh, candidate uh, experiences and workflows too much. But we definitely want to make sure that that candidate gets referred and can be followed up on. Gotcha. Uh, so that's that whole process. Uh, any, any questions so far on that, Chris? Uh, enough for me. If anybody in the uh, the audience here has a question for Ryan, throw it in the chat there, and uh, we'll get it answered. So, Ryan, what's the uh, what's the uh, recruiter experience like? I want to see more of the back end of this. So this is our recruiter dashboard here, and uh, you know everyone can uh, you know access this and. Really what we like to do is try to keep it as simple as possible. Here's their link for their assistant. Um, some of our customers, they'll have a, an assistant for each individual recruiter. Some will do it for their office, you know, or like a Chick-fil-A. Each location has their own, um, you know, bot. So you can set up a couple of different ways. All the referrals get dumped into here and uh, treat it kind of like an inbox. So you've got all your referrals that come in. Um, here we know that Ryan's hot because he's interested. So I can go in and mark him as contacted. And then you can just track your referrals in here. Now, obviously, you know, all these statuses can be updated automatically um, through our ATS integrations. We work with all the big guys. Uh, we just got back from the ISIMS Partner Summit. So it makes it easy to pull this data in directly from your ATS. Who are some of the other ATS uh, partners that you come across a lot? Yeah, you know, it's a uh, you know, pretty wide range. Uh, obviously, we work with a lot of you know, pretty larger companies, so we see a lot of uh, folks using Taleo, um, Brass Ring, uh, ISIMS, um, and then a few of the newer ones that are kind of going up market and uh, winning some more deals there. Um, and then we also work with a, a lot of recruiting agencies and staffing firms, so work with a lot of Bullhorn customers. Um, those are probably our kind of top ones that we are integrated with today. Yeah. Is there a difference in the, um, like with staffing firms, they're not a typical employer, right? But um, do you see any differences in the numbers as far as numbers of referrals they can get through a platform like this versus an actual employer? Yeah, you know, it, it's definitely different. Uh, you know, at a, at a typical employer, we're looking to get anywhere between like 60 to 90% uh, adoption um, in the referral program. For our recruiting agencies, a lot of times what they're doing is they're inviting their candidates, they're inviting their past placements. Um, if they're a staffing firm, folks who are currently on assignment, um, and then their recruiters networks. So the adoption is very different, um, but uh, they actually hire uh, referrals at twice the rate of employers. Um, so there must be better referrals. They must be able to convert mm -hmm. the referrals into hires a lot better. So. Uh, fortunate to work with some great staffing firms to help them fill their jobs faster too. Yeah, that's interesting. All right. So, um, you know, imagine you go through your day, you 
uh, end up hiring some of your referrals. Uh, this automatically updates uh, through Employ Us. Um, we also track all of your awards, so you can see, you know, who do we have to pay, when, or how much, um, and then you can mark them as paid. And uh, we also automate reports to payroll, so you can check, you know, eligibility to make sure the right people get paid at the right time. And every time you do anything like this, um, we can send updates to the employer. Mm -hmm. They're never wondering, when do I get paid? Um, I didn't get paid, you know, what happened? <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. so maybe in this case, you know. How, do, right, how does that work? How does, how does the integration with, um, mm -hmm. with getting paid actually work uh, for, these, for these workers? Yeah, so a lot of times uh, customers just go in and uh, actually through their settings, they just set whatever their, you know, rules are. So most employers, it's after, you know, 30 or 90 days. And then there might be some eligibility criteria. Like, you know, if you're a VP or above, you're not eligible for a referral bonus. Uh, if you're an HR, you're not eligible. So customers set that uh, when they get started. Uh, and then we uh, automate a report to payroll um, to run that in accordance with whatever their payroll cycle is. So they get a kind of a clean format to know exactly, you know, who are we paying, when, and oftentimes, like, what department is that coming out of? So you can attribute it to the right, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, payer. Yep. Very cool. So, yeah, great question. Um, so that's kind of the, the process of the referral, um, you know, as it goes through and gets all the way to referral being paid. Um, a couple other things that you can do with our product. Uh, obviously, you can track all of your referrals here in one place. So you can see, uh, you know, of all of your uh, people who have referred, who sent in the most referrals, who's gotten you the most hires. Um, you can also just go in and you know, drop a file in to upload more employees. Uh, we also have a campaigning tool, so you can go in and uh, you know, use some of our templates or build your own um, to run email and text campaigns. So you can go in here and you know, say, we need a new assistant to the assistant regional manager. Let's say it's really hard to fill jobs, so we're going to offer five thousand dollars. You can, uh, you know, drop that in, save it, schedule it, send a test message, and then that'll go out to all of your employees. You can also do the same with text messages as well. Then, as your campaigns go out, we've got some stats on that, so you can see how many people opened it, how many referrals are you getting from your campaigns as well. Good deal. And that's really the whole product. Uh, we've got more to show uh, if you're interested. Uh, happy to kind of share a couple other examples and use cases. But, you know, that's really it from uh, beginning to end. Yeah. Do you have um, what's like one client uh, from your uh, your client base that like uh, gets the most what's the most like referrals you've ever seen one client get out of your platform? Most uh, most referrals or most people referring uh, let's see here. Let me, let me think about that question. Um, <laughs> let's start with uh, number one client for number of referrals and then number one client for number of hires off those referrals. Ooh, good question. All right. So total. Yeah. Number, I'd love to hear those. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So uh, we have one uh, where um, they uploaded uh, to a staffing firm. So the network they're getting referrals from is about 60,000 people. Um, and uh, of that, they've got about 10,000 people uh, participating in the referral program uh, at some level. That could be just sharing a job on Facebook, um, uh, or that could be uh, actually referring. And uh, the stat uh, for that customer is uh, one of the work I'm most excited about. Um, historically, um, one in every five to one in every 10 referrals will get hired. Um, so, you know, compare that to a job board or a recruiting agency. Um, it's one of the best applicant to hire ratios um, that you'll see. Um, but that uh, company actually hires one out of every four referrals they get. Um, so you kind of backwards into the math on the number of hires. So it's a, yeah. it's an impressive number. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Um, all right. What, uh, what's the pricing on this thing? Yeah, so we've got a couple different pricing plans. Uh, it's different for employers and for staffing firms, um, but we do a, a flat monthly subscription. Um, you can start off at a $500 a month plan uh, that gives you up to 100 people, 
And uh, we like to start most of our clients out there um, because if you invite 100 people to a referral program, you know, we can usually estimate you'll get anywhere between, you know, 30 to 70 referrals. And, uh, you know, if our math is right, you should get anywhere between like five to 10 hires out of that. So we think a tool that costs 500 bucks that gets you five hires a month is a pretty good tool. <laughs> and then it obviously goes up from there for, you know, larger customers. If you need things like SSO, if you need, uh, you know, more integrations with your, uh, you know, your CRM or your HRAS, um, we can support those as well. Gotcha. Are you guys going to be uh, exhibiting any uh, conferences this year? Uh, if so, uh, which ones? Yeah, so um, we're big fans of the Disrupt HR uh, conferences, uh, or unconferences, whatever you want to phrase those. Um, we started the ones uh, here in Raleigh, um, and uh, we've been fortunate to help start some of the other ones down in you know, Miami. So we've really kind of preferred those events where you can kind of in front of you know, a smaller audience and have some you know, more intimate uh, interactions. Um, but you know, obviously the big road shows, you know, HR Tech, uh, some of the ATS user conferences. Uh, so it was just up with ISIMS, doing some events with them. And uh, uh, we try to be on the road as, as much as we can. <laughs> yep. Nice. No, I love the Disrupt HR. I go to the one in New York City. It's, a, it's always a fun uh, fun event and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it really is. Although the uh, I, I just saw uh, another one, Hacking HR. Uh, that one's yep. in Raleigh and uh, has already been in Charlotte. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of those, you know, types of events. Uh, they kind of get folks who aren't professional speakers uh, to kind of share their stories. And, and I think that's where we get some of the best content. So it's yeah, been definitely. Fun. Awesome. Right. Well, uh, appreciate the time today. Any, any last words of advice out there for the uh, listeners? Yeah. I mean, uh, obviously I'm biased, but everyone should be investing more into uh, employee referrals. I would say, uh, you know, regardless of, you know, whether or not we're the right fit for, for a company. Um, you know, I just encourage everyone to, you know, go into their ATS, see, uh, you know, what percent of their hires are coming from referrals and just be strategic about it. You know, start today, see how many referrals are you currently getting? Try to figure out how many employees are participating in the program today and then just set a goal and say, we want to double that over the next 12 months. And, uh, you know, you might need some tools to do that, in which case, you know, check us out or, or some of our, uh, you know, friendly competitors like the employeerreferrals.com folks or Teamable or some of the other tools out there. Um, we're big fans of, you know, trying to build HR software that doesn't suck. So, uh, you know, as everyone's trying to improve their referral programs, I hope people check us out at uh, employus.com uh, and uh, see what they can do to make referrals their number one source of hire. Awesome. Well, this webinar did not suck. So uh, good job. Sweet. And, uh, Let's go. Today. Um, appreciate the advice, Ryan. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you around the neighborhood, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Thanks so much, Chris. And Thanks, everyone, for uh, tuning in. All right. Thanks a lot. Again, uh, next uh, Thursday, June 20th, with uh, work here, geofencing app platform, right to take live.com. See you then, folks. We're out.